The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Age of Career. Every single week, Lady Age of the Power of Engineering to help you actually find the things you want on digikey.com. Lady, to what is the Great Search this week? Okay. Great Search this week is we're going to look for a triple inverter, and it has to be really, really small. So let's go to the computer and I'll show off the design that I'm working on. So here is um, a board I'm designing that will take a NeoPixel signal, WS2811, 2812, and convert it to analog LED strips. And the WS2811, if you look at the data sheet, um, it can handle high voltages, but it doesn't do high current. It can only do like 20 milliamps per string, but I want to do much more than 20 milliamps because there's many in parallel. Uh, and so I need a transistor output. I need like strong driving transistors. The problem is if you look at this, this is a common anode output, which means the LED is on when the signal is low. But if I have n-channel FETs, like I do here, a low signal would be off, not on. So I actually have to like invert the signal before I feed it into these power transistors. Um, so first off, because it's common anode, I think it's open drain. Actually, I actually don't know, but I'm assuming it's open drain. I have a couple of little pull-ups here, just 4.7K. And then I need an inverter. And this inverter, um, I want it to... Um, it can't be open drain. It has to be push pull. So you know, should trigger output. It needs to be three channels, red, green, blue. Uh, it should be able to run off of five volts um, because that's the signal level. And um, it should be small because it needs to fit on this board and it has to be like really tiny, but I don't like BGA. So like small, but maybe not too small, like just right, medium. So let's go to DigiKey and let's see what we can find. So um, first thing we look for is we just type in inverter. I mean, here's like I can actually use transistors to do the inversion, but again, I want it to be very small and I want it to be push pull. So let's uh, look. So gates and inverters, thirteen thousand options. Well, we'll pare it down. Don't forget, there's dark mode, but I'm not gonna have it on. Okay, so let's also only look for active. Let's just start with active and normally stocking. <clears throat> uh, okay, and then I want it to be an inverter gate, also known as a not gate. I don't want any other gates because I don't want multiple inputs. I want in one in and one out, and it just is, you know, the opposite. Okay, so let's uh, select that. Okay, now we're down to 1500. Number of circuits, three. If that's options, sometimes you know, you can't get the number you want. So you're like, you want four, four doesn't exist. And you get six, you know, it's like one, two, three. Like the ones are very cute, the little 23s or whatever. Um, you get three and then goes up to six or nine. Okay, cool, no problem. Apply. Okay, now we're really down to only 140 options, which is, which is nice, we're comparing this down. Next, we talked about open drain versus Schmidt trigger. So the reason I want it not to be open drain is because I want this to be able to pull the gate of these transistors high. It has to pull them high, and I want to do it nice and strong, nice and fast. Um, why have pull-up resistors if I don't need them? Sometimes you want open drain. Not this time. We're going to go with Schmidt trigger output. And then voltage supply. Remember, I said this has to be powered from 5 volts because... The input is coming from the WS2811, and my only power supply is 5 volts. So we're going to not select these 3.6s. And yeah, this one's fine too. 4.5, but you know, the voltage might be a little lower. Okay, good. And now we want it to be small, but not too small. So let's see what's available, because now I've actually like kind of pared it down to about like 100 options okay so i don't want bga definitely so let's like let's just select everything but that because i'm not doing bgas okay i only got rid of two okay so good um there's actually quite a lot of options another thing is okay i'll be honest there's like 74 logic and there is um uh tc7 logic i don't really know the tc7 logic i do know one thing about uh, so T, A, T logic is, um, uh, transistor level output. So, um, it can drive, it can shift down, but I actually don't, I actually don't really need that. Um, 
I think I'll just go with whatever is available that is kind of like the low cost and, and around. So let's look at by price. Let's see what's around. To be honest, like almost all these are good. Oh, there's some marketplace options, which are okay, but let's go with um, just to make it easy so I can only buy whatever, because marketplace is just a duplicate of whatever we already have in stock at DigiKey. Let's exclude that. Okay. So there's these Exxons and there are some MSOPs. These are good. I'm a little, I'm a little biased against the TC7 series just because I'm not familiar with it. So I'm going to select only the 74 series because like, I know I know 74. Although I'll be honest, I'm sure the TC7s are equivalent. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, we got a lot of Exxons, um, VSOPs. 74 HCs. Let's look at what's most in stock. Because that, that's another good way of telling, like, what's the most popular. This one looks not too bad. Basically, anything that is um, 74 LVC inverter. This, I don't know why. You know what? I'm going to select um, logic type. Sorry. Features. I'm going to not sub the X. I'm going to have just Schmidt trigger because I don't know why I had, uh, I think, open drain ones. Okay, here we're talking. HC series, LVC series. The difference between the two is basically like voltage, quiescent current, and logic level high. And then is there uh, voltage supply? Both are yeah, basically the same. Uh, current output high, you know, I actually want the higher current one. I'm going to go with the LVC because I want to be able to like really turn these on very quickly. I, I don't think it's going to make a big difference, but if they're all about the same, um, something that can slew a lot of current for me, uh, good to turn on these transistors. So I'm going to go with this one, the SN74 LVC 333 gate 14 inverter. And there's lots in stock. And they're like 30 cents a piece. So this is my pick. And that's a great search.